US President Donald Trump is clearly investing a great amount in his new relationship with his French counterpart, Emmanuel Macron. The American president is pushing out the red carpet, giving state banquets, uh, even kissing the French president in public. Long live France. Thank you. But Mr. Trump is really keen to develop a new dynamic with France. With Britain leaving the European Union, it is very important that America has an ally in the European Union. And the young, dynamic Mr. Macron is somebody that the Americans think is a go-to candidate. Of course, the French have not always been reliable and dependable allies. Uh, during the Iraq war back in 2003, the then French President Jacques Girac uh, famously withdrew French military cooperation at the last minute, thereby trying to jeopardise the whole uh, invasion of Iraq. We have seen the French go their own way in Bosnia in the 1990s, and more recently during the Libyan campaign in 2011 to overthrow Libyan dictator Muammar Gaddafi. So Mr Trump clearly believes that he can put these differences behind him and try and persuade Mr Macron to be a reliable ally. But in their bilateral talks, there will be some issues over which they will struggle to agree. Firstly, there is the ongoing issue of whether to renew the nuclear deal with Iran, which Mr Trump wants to ditch. It's a terrible deal. It should have never, ever been made. Mr Macron, on the other hand, wants to keep it. And then there is the, the growing trade uh, tensions between Washington and Brussels, with the Americans threatening to impose trade tariffs. So when they get down to the nitty-gritty of this visit, there will be much to discuss, and not everything will be agreed upon.